Hello everyone, it is I, Josh, here to bring you another video, and today this is an update about what's going to happen tomorrow at 2 a, uh, not 2 a.m., 2 p.m. Um, I'm going in to see the surgeon, uh, for, and I'm hoping to just have this done. Uh, while today was great, and, you know, got to spend time with my brothers and my nieces and my nephews, and stuff like that. I had a great time today, but what's really horrible and worse right now is the fact that my right hand is becoming more numb. It happened when I was at church today when my lump, which is a lipoma, uh, started being very painful and then my whole entire right hand, which is right here, uh, is numb and it's it's slightly numb right now, like it's starting to tingle, and then I start losing um, feeling in my hand. So I got to get this done. I'm tired of it. Um, if he says, "Well, we're gonna have to wait maybe a few days," I'm gonna be like, "I've been waiting. I've had this for 11 years, and it it took 11 years before it started to really affect my hand. I couldn't say nothing last year because my dad uh, had." Uh, solar surgery so I had to help him out and occasionally I would drop things like if I'm holding the lighter for too long I can't feel it and then I start losing my grip on it and I just drop it so I have to alternate when I'm holding something like for instance this microphone this is in my left hand but the way the camera is it looks like it's my right arm <laughs> and not my left it's kind of hilarious because you know but anyways, I just want to update everybody. I'm going in tomorrow. Um, hoping to get this over with and done so I can recover. Um, again, it's an outpatient. It's not exactly, um, not like I'm going to be staying in the hospital. I'll probably have to have, uh, take prescriptions, make sure I don't get any infections, and for the pain to dull it or numb it. Um, but again, I just want to update everybody. And... I will again update after what has happened. Um, so if you don't see me playing, you know, Friday Thirteenth, which right now is double XP weekend, but I haven't been able to play it properly because I keep having issues with it. And you know, the only way I could play it is if a friend invites me, and then I join them. And I like to apologize to my friend who asked me if I was okay, and I just kind of, I didn't really, I didn't mean to. I wasn't trying to go off. I was just being, I was sort of upset with what's going on. Because, you know, being on Twitter, people can upset you really, really badly. Or on any social media. And the fact is, when I get things like, I'm going to kick your butt. I'm going to blah, 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 beat you up. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't you come down here and show me that you're going to beat me up? Oh, wait, that's right. Because you just typed out how you kicked my butt on social media. Yeah, you really kicked my butt. You're stupid. That's the stupidest thing. Cyber bullies and trolls, you are dumb. I'm sorry, but you're dumb. And I'm not going to allow anyone to have any power over me. Because that time... And see, the thing is about cyber bullies are they might think they're tough when they type something out, but they're not. They're weak and pathetic, and they just need to stop. I mean, nobody wants to feel crappy all the time. I enjoy my time on social media. I like to update things. I like to, and you know what? It's, it's always because I give an opinion that somebody didn't like. If you don't like my opinions, you simply can ignore it. But instead, nah, I'm just going to be this. Blah, 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 blah. And I don't really care. So if you think you could beat me up, come on down. I'll show you an, a butt whooping that you've never experienced before in your life. I'm just tired of it. Like, I'm trying to have a good time with people. I share an opinion, and sometimes that opinion may not reflect great on other people or they don't like it. Don't read it. I mean, that's all I said. And, you know, I said I'm not forcing anyone to follow me on Twitter. I'm not forcing people to befriend me on Facebook. But my gosh, I'm tired of people... And I'm also really tired of fake people. I mean, they are. there's some that are really, really fake, and it sucks because you're taken away from actual people who do exist, and you're trying to pretend to be them. That's really bad. I'm sorry if 
that hurts your feelings, but I'd rather you be yourself than trying to be someone else. So please, if you're going to be real, be real. Don't fake yourself to impress me because I am not impressed by anyone who pretends to be something they, they are not. I had a girlfriend who was just like that, who bragged to all her friends that I was some sort of author who wrote a bunch of books and I'm like a bestseller. And then when I had to explain, I didn't write nothing. I didn't do any books to become successful because I don't write books. Um, and she got mad and upset about that. That she basically tried to lie to everybody else about me instead of just loving me for who I am. And while I did get emotionally abused, it sucked. It's not something I enjoyed. No one should ever want to feel that way again. And while anyone can say, you know, there, there's all types of abuse. And I'd say this, abuse sucks. I wish people wouldn't do it. If you don't love someone, don't abuse them. Just break up with them. I mean, I'd rather have a broken heart than be abused again. That's why I have some issues trusting women, but it, it took me a while. Like, I hang out with my friends if I see them, and they don't treat me any different. They love me just the way I am. And that's what anyone should ever want in life is to be respected and loved by others. But, yeah, you're going to run into those idiots who basically – don't have any friends so they think bullying is the only way to get attention stop it please don't don't bully if you want to be my friend that's great I love you I love everybody for that matter and I would do anything for a lady anything except I will not do that for pain I don't like pain and neither should you you shouldn't like pain at all uh, I mean like I said there are certain people that I would avoid or at least avoid what they do I mean, I like, like I said, I like mixed wrestling, and, you know, that's great and all, but I don't, you know, it's like, I all I got to tell them is I don't want to be hurt, and they will either respect my wishes, but there are some who probably wouldn't care, even if I said don't hurt me, they probably would, <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is, uh, you got to trust people, and if you can't trust them, then you might as well not trust nobody. But that's my update anyways. I'm sorry this is a long video. Um, I'm asking for prayers um, from all my friends and all my family and all my followers on Twitter. Unless you don't believe in religion, which is fine. You can just wish me good luck and hope for the best. That's all I ask. I mean, I'm not forcing anything on anybody. So I love you all. I talk to you all later. God bless. Happy Easter. April Fool's Day. I already played a joke. <laughs> I said I canceled my appointment. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I'm going in Monday. I have had this for 11 years and I'm tired of it. So it's time to go. It's time to say goodbye to the slump that has been causing problems. And if he can do it tomorrow, that would be, would be awesome and great. All right. I got to go. I said that already. So again, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm sorry to my friend <laughs> on gaming. I was just upset. I should have said, I'm just slightly upset right now, and I'm not in the mood to play F-13. Um, that's all I could have said. Or that I'm just playing Far Cry 5, because I do try to hide the fact that I am sort of upset with people who basically try to target me. So I'll talk to you all later.